Welcome to my channel. This is the daily episode of Daily News Clips. But before I get to that, I have to thank you for coming to my channel. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for sharing and thank you for commenting. I really enjoy interacting with you in the comments. And thank you most of all for the growth of my channel. It's been unbelievable. I just have a few items today. The first one is Planet Fitness allows men in the women's locker room. That should increase their business, don't you think? Obviously, I'll put the link to this in the uh, description so that you can follow up on it. Second item. There's a battle going on for the truth, not just in our country, but worldwide. And they've invented terms like malinformation and misinformation and disinformation to describe things that they don't like, inconvenient truths that they don't want to have heard. The people who don't want the truth to come out fight 24-7, 365 to keep it concealed. That's why we have to fight harder to get it revealed. And that's why I share these news stories. The next item on the agenda, uh, Trump made some comments recently and the press is going to great lengths to interpret those as being him saying that if he doesn't win the election this time, there will be a bloodbath. Now, fortunately, we have his words recorded so you can listen to them for yourself and see if he says that. Mexico has taken over a period of 30 years, 34% of the automobile manufacturing business in our country. Think of it, went to Mexico. China now is building a couple of massive plants where they're going to build the cars in Mexico and think, they think that they're going to sell those cars into the United States with no tax at the border. Let me tell you something to China. If you're listening, President Xi, and you and I are friends, but he understands the way I deal, those big monster car manufacturing plants that you're building in Mexico right now, and you think you're going to get that, you're going to not hire Americans, and you're going to sell the cars to us now, we're going to put a 100% tariff on every single car that comes across the line, and you're not going to be able to sell those cars. If I get elected, now if I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath for the whole... That's going to be the least of it. It's going to be a bloodbath for the country. That'll be the least of it. But they're not going to sell those cars. They're building massive factories. A friend of mine. Yep. That's how the media deals. They report the headlines. Trump, Trump predicts bloodbath if not elected. And then they hope no one will read the fine print. Well, that's why I'm here to make sure you can know about the fine print and you can follow up on it if you want to. Uh, <clears throat> I have another article from Racket. The, the title of the article is On Today's Absurd New York Times Hit Piece. On the eve of a important Supreme Court case, the New York Times has printed a lengthy article, which they do frequently, uh, completely distorting and lying about the facts regarding the Twitter files. And you can read that article if you're interested. Again, I put the links in the description for you. And then the last item I have is, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, Jeff Kessler. I'm having trouble reading this. Let me blow it up a little more. Hey, let's not rethink the First Amendment. A leading free speech scholar pushes back against widespread claims that peer-to-peer -peer misinformation on the Internet justifies government censorship. No, there can never be any justification for government censorship, period, under any circumstances. I don't care how misinformation the information is it's up to us as consumers to figure out what the truth is and not for the government to tell us what the truth is and that's what they're trying to do now is they're trying to set up the process in such a way 
that they get to decide what the truth is and what the truth is not. That's what they're doing in Canada. I gave you the article the other day where they're, they're considering passing a law that will put you in prison for life if you say something they don't agree with. These are some special times we live in, aren't they? But look, you're my viewers, and so I pray for you, and because I pray for you, I expect God to bless your life. I pray that you will have an abundant life. I pray that you'll live a long time and that you'll be healthy. I pray that God will keep you safe from harm. I pray he'll do the same for every person that you love. And I pray most of all that you will be anxious for nothing, but in all things, through prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, you'll let your request be made known to God. And the peace that passes all understanding will keep your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. This is the Vietnam Era Vet, out.